Hello there everyone and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, I'm your host Mr. Mokul, I'm using the No Step Back DLC provided to me, of course, free of charge from Paradox. But right now, as you can tell, we're going to go down a certain route in which we're going to make the USSR explode. But I've already read, read most of these focuses before, so we're going to do a beat him but not yet defeat him. But if you'd like to read that, please go right ahead, in which we are going to go down a certain F word route. Let's see, less daily communist spread, or unification of the exiles. So if you don't read this one as well, please go right ahead. Yeah, interact with foreign powers. Might as well try to get more political power immediately. So, my goal. Oh, and if you wonder about factionalism, please go right ahead as well. Uh, I'm going to ignore that for the most part. But the thing about the Civil War, just save your PP. Don't spend any of it. you got to save, save, save. Actually, after this one. We might just go just beeline through here. Because we can help lower the amount of communist spread as fast as possible. Embrace that Black 100 zone. And that should be an occasion. It's not bad. The true Tsars is also not too bad either. Women's uh, F-word movement. Not bad, but uh, I guess we're forced to do Cheetah, huh? So beer is a traditionally an anti-Stalinist and anti-Bolshevik stronghold. Which may be underdeveloped, but we should be relatively easy to win over to our cause. Well, that sucks. As someone did say when I did play as Trotsky, or when it is before, actually. I wish it could be somewhere else than just Cheetah. Cheetah's nice and all, but like... I kind of wish it was more than just Cheetah here. And I completely agree. Cheetah's nice and all. I guess it makes the most sense, even though it doesn't make too much sense at all, but that's fine. Because I've done Cheetah before. I've done Omsk, I think. I've done... I've not done Tashkent. I've done Ukraine. Uh, but, regardless, we must continue to expand left and right. Oh, we need to complete the Embrace the Black Hundreds focus. Well... Oh, and actually, how much paranoia do we have? 8%. This one increases paranoia by about 20, so we got a little bit of time before we have to do that once we close out of this one. We just don't spend any political power unless we absolutely have to. And I guess Germany's doing their stuff. If you want to about this, please go ahead. We are on A historical as well, so I don't know what's going to happen, but they remain defiant. Uh, must not go to war with the Turks. I just don't want to go to war with them, so we're not going to go to war with them. How about that? And we would have our tanks down here just in case, just because, well... Japanese are going to get a little too angry at us eventually, and they're going to be like, we want the land, Arr, don't tell us what to do, and I'm like, I don't care what you want, we're going to do this anyways, so, I was getting more naval XP, I deleted all the uh, ships in production because I don't really believe in keeping them there, so, uh, when selected, decrease by 20, we're going to wait for that one soon, and we'll have unification of the exiles done very, very soon as well, in which we'll get more par uh, par political paranoia, as well as some more political power, which would be very, very necessary for a nation like us, but yeah. I don't really want to read the same focuses again and again, but that's why I'll give you guys the option to do so yourself. There you go. Now we can do it. Nice. 20 is pretty good. For this one, um, let's let's try, let's try it down here as fast as we possibly can for that one. Uh, fascism, non-aligned. Mm, add true stars. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. I want the true stars just because the extra map is going to be really nice. If you want to read this one, please go right ahead. Nice. We'll do that one, and then we'll embrace the Black Hundred. So if you want to read about this one, please go ahead as well. Unlocks on-map decisions to infiltrate states, making them controlled at the start of the Second Russian Civil War. Uh, this stuff is not bad. Anything that gives us more political power is something that we want to race towards. So covert operations would be pretty good to do. Hmm. And honestly, when we set stuff up here like this, uh, the Civil War, the Second Russian Civil War isn't that bad either. So, ooh. Other Vladivostok to Japan? No, we're good. Sakhalin for arms? No, we're good. Baku oil rush for military build-up? No. This stuff is possible, but you don't have to choose this stuff to actually win this award. It's not that bad, so. 60%. So for now, what we're going to do, maybe we'll try to go straight up north. Eventually, we do want to get Vladivostok. Actually, I might try to get this tile first. Because this tile is actually really... It doesn't have a lot of population, but Baratia has quite a bit of resources. And that's actually really nice to have, so. We'll go that way. The Chutsars follow it up with the Black Hundreds. After that, then we'll go with Article 124. So if you're learning about Article 124, please go right ahead there. As we have basic machine tools and some dispersed industry because we can. Yugoslavia recognizes USSR. Well, we'll show them the revolution. We'll see what that happens or what happens with that because, well, not much is going to happen from that. Let's be real here. Actually, is this tile good too? Bodaibo. Bodaibo. Eh, it's not that bad. Not a lot of population, which does suck, but we'll definitely see what happens. So, yeah, we want to get the fascist in power and see what happens because this is my last route that I'm not done at the time of this recording for all the different paths for this focus tree, so we're here to learn and see what the fascist path is like, even though it's not too radically different, it looks like, from the monarchist path, which was a lot of fun as well. Okay, to Romania, so we'll do an Empire in the Pacific, of course, we'll go all the way down here too. Uh, Simeon Timoshenko accuses Mikhail Tukhachevsky. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. So, Simeon Timoshenko. Timoshenko, let's take a look. So, we have, where? 
Semyon Timoshenko. Oh, here he is. So his cavalry dude, he's politically connected. He's a career officer. And Tukhachevsky. Tukhachevsky's pretty darn good. He has to face justice. Ooh. Purge him. So we get 20 here. Which we could use. This is a transparent ploy by Simeon Timoshenko to save his own skin. Ooh, boy. And the investigation without a verdict. We get above him, Cal by Stalin. Political paranoia increases based on level of the unit leaders not purged. Well, I want Tukhachevsky to survive for now, so goodbye, Timoshenko. Bye bye. Now we can do this stuff, which is good. And oh, Article 124. Nice. Dismiss the counter revolution. By publicly denouncing any talk of a counter revolution, we should be able to divert the attention of the NKVD away from our agents. However, it might also mean that we lose some supporters who believe in the false dismissal. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely not. Xenovivite Terrorist Center. A crackdown in Siberia. Stalin ensures the loyalty of a general. Which ensures... Oh, well, that sucks. We don't get Konstantin Rokosovsky this time. Huh. One of the following must be true. Bukharinist. Trotskyite. Monarchist sympathizer has been purged. Well, unfortunate to be him. And after that one, let's grab some better artillery. Thank you. I think for this campaign, I want to go with tanks, maybe. We'll see. And I want to try to expand as far west as we possibly can go. Eventually, we will get stopped, but... And we will get fly of stock as we possibly can as well, as well as uh, the Sicilian Islands, but... Or Island, but whatever. Six days left, not bad. A couple days left here. Um, this will be going to about this. Please go right ahead. Uh, getting rid of it would not be a good idea. Because weekly paranoia will grow up, go up even further. Ooh, I don't want to lose political power, though. Hmm. Oh, well. Goodbye, Yannick Rigoda. Now replace with Nikolai Yezov. Yay. 0.57 is really not worth it. Political Commissar, 5% more political power is not worth it either. Bulgarian government supports IMRO. Everyone else here... We have people in prison. Okay. Uh, well, after the Article 124, we're going to do reopen Novo Dedici. More political power, less common support. German Soviet Treaty? Oh, if you want to know about that, please go right ahead. But we're going to go ahead and do... Capitalists are worth threat to both of us. Yes, please. Immediately go this way. So this... Is this how worth it? That's not bad. But Daibo... That one's not really worth it. This one's what we're doing next, I think. And then this one... Krasnoyarsk? Wouldn't be too bad either. Yeah. Krasnoyarsk. Just keep pushing this way. If they get up top here, that's fine. Uh, Amur would not be bad either. Just so that we can have an option to get down here as well. Uh, I might as well do it, why not? We are 27%. It's fine with us. Whatever. So after that one, we can rebuild it. So we get more stability, which would be actually very good. We're going to go with this... Mm, I said this wrong last time. Say not? Say, 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 I, oh, I say it wrong. I say it wrong every single time. But if you like to rebuild this one again, please go ahead. Replace opiate of the masses with a catacomb church. More political power is very, very nice. Conspiracy? If you want about the conspiracy, please go ahead as well. But political paranoia decreased by 20? Yes, please. And you want about the first Moscow trial? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kamenev, Zinoviev, Sol Sokolnikov, Shlapshnikov, and Smirnov are removed from the game. Goodbye, guys. Actually, we hold on to it a little bit. And then we can actually use it for better effect for political po political paranoia. Oh, oh, that's not good. They actually came all the way to Altai Krai, huh? That actually has quite a few millions of people. It's not as worth it. What's so right here, right? Kimrovo? Kimrovo would be next. So that's not too bad. There you go. Nice. And now we're down to 7%. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. You just gotta stretch, stretch, stretch. And then we'll come up here next, I think. Because this one's not bad, but this one just keeps pushing us further towards the Urals. If we can, like, station ourselves near the Urals, that'd be great. And after this one, we'll grab Re Savior. Of course, the boot is pretty good to get grabbed, too. Might as well, right? Might as well. Even though it's a 70-day focus, which does kind of suck, but... Whatever. Oh, Otto soon sat the Hungarian crown. Very good for you, Otto. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Novosibirsk. Um, we might be able to get semi Palatinsk as well. Yeah, that's going to take a while to do that, which is fine. Whatever. Yeah, the long, stretchy line. Admiral Arsene Gol Golovko accused of treason. If you want to hit this, please go right ahead. There's no place in the Navy for such a man. Goodbye. We can always hire another Admiral. There you go, too. Oh, Omsk. Yes, we like Omsk. We can... Oh, they got th these two tiles. Oh, that's not good. We can get this and then surround them. Yeah, let's grab this tile next just so that we can surround them. I think that'd be worth it. And we've got six days left, which is not bad. 70% is not nowhere good enough yet. 72% army support, 200% naval support, 50% air support, support, and 6% popular support. Not good enough yet, my friends. Definitely not good enough. Hmm. Going up. 
Communism is going down every day, which is very, very nice. And to sabotage a campaign, we're going to go with that. Please go right ahead. Full investigation. And Spain is killing itself. Which, you know, I guess we could probably help them out if we really wanted to. Or... We can wait. Can we? There's nothing on the right side here. Um, oh, I guess we can't do anything. Because usually there's a focus to do, uh, especially when you go down the other socialist routes. Which, I don't know. Oh, I see why this one's open. Just because, uh, this will disappear later. Just because, like, the AI is doing basically this one. And we're doing this stuff on the right side. Usually there's one about Spain that you can help them out and stuff. But, nah. I don't feel like it. Sorry. Not really feel like helping them out. Not this time. Maybe next time. There you go. Good. Uh, this is not bad. Team M. Might as well. Did they block us here yet? Nope. Mechanical computing. Radar. Um, as you can tell, we're just trying to... We're not really beelining through this, but we're trying to get through it relatively quickly. And there we go, too. Nice. Not bad. Maybe get some more planes next. Uh, let's at least grab which one of these two. This one is more steel. And three, literally three times the population, so this one's better to do. Infiltrating state. Not bad. 40% political paranoia, which is not bueno, but whatever. And... There you go. Now we're 53%, which is not good. As you're doing crackdowns in the Urals. So we can go all the way over here. Which would not be bad too, even though I want perm. Hmm. What else is he doing stuff here? Ah, oh, good. And the Declaration versus Reformation of the Role, or Reformalize the Role of the Patriarch. Yes. Better consumer goods, more stability. Yes, please. Oh, they got this style. It's not good. Hey, if you wonder about the conspiracy in the academy, please go right ahead. Eh, it doesn't give us that much decrease, but that's okay, because we're going to spend it immediately. That's not bad. We're going to start spreading, spreading more down in Central Asia, because fighting for Central Asia is god-awful. I'd rather take the states now that are god-awful to fight in, like, basically all, everywhere we're at right now. Fighting this part of Siberia sucks. It is, it's not great fighting through this region where my mouse is right now on screen, but it's definitely better here than trying to fight over here in the mountains. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's just so bad. So after this one... Nash Unification, uh, two military factories, group of population, factory output, dockyard output, covert operations, yeah. Let's let's do, let's do frame uh, party members of military personnel next. That'd be a good idea. 68%, that's not good. That's a little high for me, but we can do that one too. So that makes it better. So tiles would be great for mountains, just holding out here. I think that's smart to do. And then we'll come, ooh, they got this tile too. That is not bueno, but that could be a lot worse. So up next, I just want tiles, just massive tiles like this one. Amelinsk. Oh, Latvia's killing itself. And Lithuania. Very nice. Covert operations. The German Reich is now dead as well, which is very good. Good job, Germany, for killing yourself. Cracked down the Great Steppe region. Oh, boy. 44%. Oh. Yeah, they got that one. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we could grab this one, too. Actually, that's not bad. It gives us a little bit of fuel. So we go to Met Magnitogorsk. Go here, and then all the way wrap around. It's not a bad... Um, sure. We can give him some... Yeah, I don't want to get involved. We'll kill them off later on. Why is everyone just accusing Tukhachevsky? If you want to about this one, please go ahead. Voroshilov. Voroshilov. He's level 4. You're level 1. Voroshilov, please. Calm yourself. Oh, they got that one too. That sucks. Uh, which one do we want? Magnitogorsk is the one we got to go with. We're going to be long, snaky, and just incredibly ugly. Or 68%, which is really not good. But once we get covert operations, that should really help us out a little bit. We have to covert operations, then what? We're against the Wreckers. Fort Simeonov. Hmm. Declaration. We can wait to do this one as well. National Unification. That's a lot one. National Unification. Okay, Frame and Admiral, yes. 71% is pretty high. Uh, P Japanese People's Republic requests assistance. I've never read this one before. Uh, the JPR is currently embroiled in a destructive civil war and is having trouble matching the enemy's military strength. Their transitionary government has now approached our representatives with an offer to trade the southern Sakhalin Peninsula for military assistance aid so, so sorely they need. This may be a way to easily get some more land in return for some volunteer divisions. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. If you want to read the second Moscow trial, please go ahead, but... Oh, what, 100%. That's not good. Oh, my goodness. That would have been so bad. Offers to kill him for arms. Ooh, that would have been bad, man. Ooh, baby. Ooh, buddy boy. So any tiles we don't take? 
Stalin will get. So I definitely don't want to lose Vladivostok. So come back over here. Um, yeah, do both. That'll be good. I'm gonna, we'll lose some guys, but whatever. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Now, unification. Unification. After this one, what are we going to do? Youth movements. 70 days focuses. Everyone above Admiral Vladimir Kostatinov, as well as General Alexander Yegorov. Yegorov. Let's go right ahead. Well, we don't have time or extra paranoia to increase, so goodbye. Goodbye. We'll do a women's fascist movement. Because we love women here. There you go. Yeah, we're going to focus on one front. It's just going to be this entire front moving up to here. Uh, I still have that one. Not bad. Did they take anything up here yet? They should really take stuff up here. Oh, they did take one. We're at 52%. Up next, we're going to grab this one. 52% still a little bit too high for me, personally. Nice. Can see the trade unions. All right. National unification. Fa women's fascist movement. Yes. The workers' dictatorship, huh? Okay. Why is everyone accusing Mikhail Tukhachevsky? I get that no one likes him. But still. And we're going to get rid of him eventually anyway, so. Nice. Thank you for being purged. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, like, bro, I know you don't like him, but why is everyone coming after his little booty? There you go. That's fine. 66% is quite a bit. After this one, I think we'll just go grab the Skatelians, because I don't want to I don't want to fight for these things. It's really annoying. But then again, I don't want to fight over here, too, so. Um, oh, man, we take this. That's pretty nice. Now we're at seventy-nine percent, which is pretty bad. That's that, that's really bad. Hopefully, someone else gets accused. Track down the great steps. I mean, this looks bad now, but once the civil war starts, it's going to look even worse. So yeah, we, we'll be working on it. Mexico is killing itself. Very cool. Good job, Mexico. We're at eighty-two percent, which is not good at all. Radio, but if the thing pops off early, then it pops off early. I'm not too really concerned about it. So we've got to wait just a little bit. Of the Admiral, Women's Fascist Movement. Um, Simeonov, yeah, I'll do that one too. Vote to unite. Poland's killing itself as well. Peasant Uprising. Oh, Air Force Jones implicated. Oh boy. Oh no. Because once this goes over 90%, there's a 20% chance, once it's over 90% chance, that, uh, well, things don't go so well for us. Uh, that the Civil War just will begin immediately, so. There's always that option as well, which sucks. How did you get, you get these two? Put up this one, okay. Um, hmm. I want the one with more manpower. Then again, completing this one would be really nice, but whatever. 68%. Well, if we can't get the Sakaeans, that's not, that's not a really big worry of mine. Just take as much as we can, do as much as we can before we all die. Because we are going to die. Oh, we're still building up Moscow. That's not, that's not right. Oh, we built up everything here too. I'm gonna do this one first, and then do that one. There you go, something like that. It's fine. Roads and factories. Sound good to me. Uh oh, Admiral Philip Oktayebrzki accused of treason. Goodbye. Only ten. Oh, and Vasily Kutsinov accused of treason as well. Goodbye. Nice. Thanks for taking the bait, guys. Um, can we cut these guys off yet? Four million is pretty darn nice right here. I can't pass up Tashkent. Tashkent is very good. And then come over here and then we'll completely surround these guys. Completely surround these guys. Completely surround these guys. It's all about surrounding guys. Nice. Semyonov and then Fascist Youth Union. Well, I can muster the Old Guard first. Let's do that one just so that we get more non-aligned support. And then we get more Fascist stuff. Where are we at? 70%? That's not bueno. Still pretty high. Uh... I want to wait for a 70%. It's pretty flippin' high. Which one's better? This one? Yeah, 2.23 million is better. This one's better to do. Oh, there we go. Do that one. Oh, it's only minus 10. A support for the opposition and the army goes up. Now we're at 43% for army, 41% for the navy, 32% for the air force, and 29% popular support. So, as it says here, there's 20, daily 20% risk of Stalin starting the war when the paranoia is over 90%. Which isn't very good for us, as you can tell. But that's okay. <clears throat> oh, here's this too. Recruit Siberian cavalry in Novosibirsk. As one cavalry brigade in Novosibirsk when the war starts. 
Lose command part increases pro and arrow by five. I mean, we could really just launch it now, but I want to get to the old guard first. We'll see, maybe. Because he has to do another uh, great trial, right? I think so. I could be wrong. Nice. 82%. Not bad. Hmm. I mean, we could launch a thing right now. Getting all the way over here would be pretty good, though. I'm waiting for this other one to pop up uh, beneath political paranoia. Little Entente reaffirmed. How is Japanese People's Republic? Oh, they're doing okay. Dissolve the Design Bureau. Maybe under this, but go ahead. Nice. Minus 50. That's a nice fat 50. So, I think it's time to grab some more stuff over here. Ooh. I just want to cut them off. I'm thinking this style would be good too. Technically, we already did cut them off through here, which is really nice. The more we take, the better and easier it will become. But if we just take that, it makes it easier for us. Hmm. Getting more cavalry would be good as well, though. Or just start here. And you cut them all off here. That's also an idea. There you go. Why not? 48. You know what? Screw it. Grab the cavalry. We'll get at least one. Because you need horses. You want you need horses to move fast. You just got to move a little bit faster here. Spain declared war on Spain. Good job, Spain. Oh, the Spanish just doing Spanish stuff. And Japan's gone. Good job. Uh, don't ask for those islands back because you're not going to get them back. And don't, please don't try attacking here. Imperial Quantum Territories. Oh, that must mean the Copra Spirit Sphere is dead, right? Yeah. Great. And as well as the Axis. The Allies are doing okay. The check on top. Poland's killing itself. And the Allies are still here. For now. Well, they might be going... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, China's killing itself too. Very nice, very, very nice. Um, 62% is not bad. Oh, they got that tile. That sucks. Oh, well. I want to keep an island, but no. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Central Asia. This is such a big tile, though. It's so nice just to grab, so we don't have to deal with it. Hmm. Or well, this tile up here, too. We can't push any past here, which does suck. Up here, why is that worth 15? That's that's not that's not worth it for 15. No, something like this one. This one's just so nice to grab. Now we're 72 percent. Screw it. Let's go all the way up here too. Still building. Nice, nice. Trying to clear war on Shangxi. Most of the old guard. Don't Charlie. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Organized records. Uh, let's do this one too. Just get it's a 35 day focus. I'm not sure how much more time we actually have because we're already at 88 percent, which is pretty bad. But whatever. Dismiss kind of revolution. Great purge of navy junior officers. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Only minus 10, which is not enough for me to really feel comfortable. Admiral. Oh, any navy leader that does not have trait Stalinist or Monica sympathizer. Well, I guess we're all out of those guys. Oh, look at this too, though. Oh, nice. There you go. Why not? 76%, huh? Well, let's do at least one more here. It's looking, honestly, not terrible. I wonder if we're down here anyways. We have to go kill these guys off anyways over there, so I'm not too concerned about that. Mm. Yeah, I must do that one. 86%, and the Civil War is going to fire very soon. Unless we get this one done. Like, immediately. Wish you don't get accused of treason. Is it going to be Tukhachevsky finally? No, Vlasov. Oh, Vlasov. Oh, but I need you for TNO. Oh, well. We'll probably do one more here, right? Get that one done in like two days, hopefully. There you go. Another towel that we would want here. Five. How, many, how close are we? Oh, we're pretty close. Oh, I want that so badly. Mm. We can grab this. Ah, that's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Grab this one. Just get to this one done first. So we get the extra equipment and let then let it fire. Oh, Austria Hungary is here. And we got it. Nice. Good job, guys. The eyes fear. Recruit units that will rise up against the communists once the second Russian war starts. When I present, it's going to fire any second now. Mm hmm. We have to conspiracy. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, if you want to go this one, too, please go ahead. Oh, there goes Tukhachevsky. Goodbye, Tukhachevsky. Oh, now we're at 50%. Oh, that's so much nicer. So we do have a little bit of time. So we can still grab a few more of these, which won't be bad. Uh, oh, there goes Spain killing itself as well. 
and the hands do, which will force the war to start immediately. Yeah. Just press industry, grab some of that. Where are we at? We're at 50% support. That's pretty good, actually. 53%. Um, at this point, I don't know. Grab whatever you can. There you go, congrats. 63% is not bad. Grab some more of this. Boom, 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 boom. Excavation, plane-wise. Uh, get some better tactical bombers. That'd be nice. Yugoslavian economic aid is gone. That one's that's actually really nice to get, too. Oh, they got up there, too, huh? That one's... Oh, actually, that one's fuel, but not too concerned about fuel right now. Oh, forge safety production? Minus 20, not. Why not? Why not? There you go, why not, too? Yeah, so they have a little bit of pocket here. Pocket there, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. All appear as well. anti drug campaigns? Why not? Eyes fear. South Mature Railway. Actually, this is not bad to do. Even though it does increase political paranoia, you get free railroads, free supply base. I mean, that's that's absolutely worth it because it takes so long to make those supply hubs. It's It's god-awful. Mm, 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 mm. Screw it, I don't want to deal with it. It's about 50% for the army, 58% for the navy, 39% for the air force, and 47% popular support, which is pretty good for us. That's pretty easy, not going to lie. Can we do this? Excavation, ground based training. we got three days left for this one. Not bad, not bad. Do have to remember that we will increase political paranoia here, but that's okay. That's right, so we got him. So we can't do the south scale, which sucks, but whatever. Hmm... So they did get these two, which is fine, whatever. Why not? 54%. South Manchuria Railway. The hands do. Declaration, which we can do during the Civil War as well. Fascist Youth Union. Eh. Well, that's 70-day focus. I'm not sure if we have enough time for that. Rutgers. Uh, sabotaging industry is not really worth it, in my opinion. You can if you really want to, but it's not super necessary. 67%. After that one, is there any, anyone else that we could really do around here? You can get more cavalry. All the way up to here, maybe, if we really wanted to. Don't really have to, though. Can't do the South Sakhalin. They got Kamchatka, which is... Fine, I don't really care. Uh, I think go up here to here. I mean, that's fine with me, but... 70%. Crack down there. Popular support for an uprising decreased by 1%. Lose political power. When the Civil War starts, the centrists will get the modifiers from the socialism in one country. Meh. Whatever. Finish that one up first, that'll be fine. It's conspiracy among civil servants. This corruption must be rooted out. There you go. And we'll go all the way up here, too. So this way, we own all all this. All the Asian part of the Soviet Union, which would be nice. There you go. 140. Holy crap, that's too expensive. It's very expensive. I know I'm taking a while for this. I just want to get as many focuses done before we have to do this stuff, so. Training activities curtailed. Eh, it's fine, whatever. There you go. 72% is not good. Frame it. Oh, army officer. There's another one, huh? After this, we must just do the hands do. I mean, this one's just, like I said, it's not worth it. It's not really worth it, so. The hands do. The hour has come. We must commit ourselves to the sacred task to remove the Soviet system of government free from our motherland so that our children may one day be free from the specter of communism. Nice. Hmm. There you go. If you want to. There you go if you want to as well. More cavalry divisions are nice. Oh, we have Lithuania and Latvia as SSRs. Wow. Nationalist Poland versus Peasant Poland. Huh. Alright, well, good luck, guys. Well, I'm not concerned. Of course, Austria Hungary, they're probably going to form the Central Powers. Maybe they might assassinate Italy. You never know. Turkey is not aligned with Ataturk for now. Until he probably dies eventually because he's getting old. Uh, 84%, not bad. Yeah, at least we'll get this one done, though. Design the design bureau. Yeah, I'm with, okay. Sure, why not? Ooh, that's not bad either. All those extra resources. Fifty. Ah, uh, screw it, because he can. And let, let, let the hands do. There, get some more cavalry too, because he can. Happy 38th, though, everybody. It's taking a while to get to the civil war, but that's all right. It happens. Oh, all these generals are dead. Yay! Only 55 percent. We can keep going on, but man, there's no point to. And we're pretty much ready to go. It won't be that bad of a civil war. It's going to be pretty darn messy. It's going to be really ugly, but... You know, what else is new?
When can we recruit more cavalry? We're only 15%, which is really nice, but whatever. There you go. How much more time will we have before the Civil War starts? Oh, uh, we actually might be able to get that one done first. How many days is that? Oh, 13? 12 days? Can we get that one done in 12 days? Ooh, yeah, we can. That's not bad. It's very nice. Well, let's keep the rest of the political part. We could actually raise more uh, cavalry divisions. No, 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 no. Isep, I have? No, we are not going to get rid of Zukov. But you can recruit Manchurian cavalry divisions from Manchuria to help in the Civil War, which I think is pretty nice. That's actually pretty darn nice. March 29th. Oh, so close to creating that. The hands do. The second rest Russian Civil War begins. A time for political maneuvering is over. The armed struggle against the communists has resumed. A committee is formed that uh, will guide us through this war. This time we'll fight and unite until the end. This time there won't be a defeat. This time we'll retake the empire to arms. Nice. So now we can call for aid, sabotage behind enemy lines, aristocratic in investments. Uh, what do we want? Sabotage behind enemy lines. Enemy units will suffer damage to organization. Uh, let's call for aid. Because we can. Call for aid. Alright, so now... This looks really ugly, doesn't it? This is actually really bad. I thought this would be better than this, but whatever. You know, just combine everybody here. Everyone into a single block. Because I don't want to deal with this. So we have 82 divisions. That's not bad. Where are you guys all stationed? You guys are fine. You guys are more than fine. Uh, U16. Uh, form your own thing. You... We actually have some tank divisions. Look at that. That's nice. There you go. And you guys go boom. You guys go boom. So basically, I want all but really you. Uh, actually, you have horses here as well. I want you to be two separate entities. I want you to focus here on the main line. The tanks, everyone else is going to focus on everything else. It'll be fine, whatever. Um, who is going to be field marshal? Someone on attack? Cosman? Why not? You, infantry, mostly. All we have are field marshals, god dang it. That sucks. New commander then. Denikin? Uh, there you go. Tons of cavalry guys. Which is nice enough, but still. Any tank guy? No. You're actually a cavalry guy as well, but you use motors and mechanized already. Uh, details? Yeah, you have this modifier, which is fine, not great. Eric Krasnov, whatever. Uh, you get Andre, Field Marshal, um, Alexandro, and you get the infantry people, that's fine. Here, be offensive. It's fine. You, be offensive. You, uh, just wait for that type of thing. So, you guys will be fine. You guys are all down here. Just clean them up here ish. Actually, I'm do that. Where are you guys at, for the most part? You guys are over here. It's fine. Just come out over here and finish these guys off. It's fine. Alright, any other divisions that we have? Oh, actually, we have 13 more. That's not bad. If that's the case, I'm going to throw you guys right there. And you eight, come over here and help clean up these guys, too. That'll be good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And led by Denikin for now. That's fine, fine. Let everyone go on in. Unyielding Defender would not be bad. Don't feel like applying it right now, though. And before we fully, 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 fully mega finish up, three planes. Actually, let's come over here first. Where are you guys at? Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Combine. There you go. Attack bombers go up by one. By one. Bing, bong, boom. Bing, bong, boom. There you go. Cut you in half. There you go. You guys go there. You guys go right there. Attack bombers do that. Uh, I'll actually go right there since you have some support. And you guys head on out to there. Because you can. Get out the naval guys. A lot of a stock. Come on down. Head on down as well. And let's get the Shindig on the road. Second Russian Empire. Down to the plot. Recruits ready. The rookie divisions are ready to rise up and fight against the communist oppressors. Nice. Go back to divisions. Just. Uh, well. There you go. Do that if you can as well. Hold. And then just do okay. Led by. Another cal- my god, there's so many cavalry officers. Parsons joined the uprising too. Stalin's all over the country is faltering all across the Union. People are rising up against the tyranny of Stalin. Partisan units are forming to help us in a struggle. Good. You're all probably gonna die. And that's okay with us. After calling for aid, we'll probably go ahead and do sabotage behind enemy lines. Aristocratic investments first though, because that's really good for extra factories and such, so. 
Should be doing okay, right? Because I want you four to go like all the way this way. And you go all like all up there. Nice. A lot of these guys are gonna die, but whatever. Hey, you, just, you do this. It's fine. Good enough. Good enough for me. Good enough for you, hopefully as well. Nice. Can we push in at all? Hopefully, we've lost probably a couple thousand. Yep, we've got about one thousand. They're not caught in the puppets yet. You are done. Oh, I don't think so. Central Asia must be taken care of. We're taking care of this area here. We're going to do all this with tanks and whatnot as well, which would be very, 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 very nice. Even though I should really be sending the tanks somewhere else, because right now, using the tanks down here, probably not a really good idea, but oh well. You guys are looking pretty good. You guys didn't look too bad either. Just take everything, pretty much. Oh, we're up there too. Look at that, huh? Sure, Italy. Yeah, we love you, Italy. Honestly, you guys are just going to die here anyway, so I think it's a claim. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. Supply issues. What else is new? Nice. Gentlemanly kind of sucks. Armor stock, stockpile capture. Oof, I'll be wondering about that, please go ahead. We can put it to good use. Yes, we can. Keep them in place. There you go. Thanks for arriving, Vladivostok. You're not going to be any useful to us at all. You guys will be fine. Um, help us destroy these guys too here. Let the infantry march towards the Ukraine and whatnot. They're doing more than fine. I, I mean, I would prefer more supply here, but... There's really not much we can do about it, so... Yeah, there we go. Got more supply immediately. Down there. Give us some time. We'll get through here too. Supply connection from a capital. Oh, it makes sense why. Uh, if anything, actually, that we can we can fix that immediately. Actually, from here to there, something like that. Super super easy. There you go. You just keep building stuff up eventually too. That's fine. It'll be fine. We only have 39 factories, but it's fine. Totally fine, actually. Since you're all doing this anyways now. There you go. All the way down there, too. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They've lost, what, 100,000? 60,000 versus 24,000? Not much, but they've suffered a lot more uh, uh, injuries. Oh, and rest, if you want to go that, that's a good head. We will win this. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Uh, we don't need that one yet. Come thirty eight stuff, thank you. Awesome. Hmm, we're good. Commandeer stuff, no propaganda efforts. We could use that one, why not? I make more division actual divisions? Sure. There you go. Payment of upgrades, offensive, yeah, might as well. We like them when they're offensive. Very offensive. It's gonna take some time to get over here, even though we will link up eventually once we get through here. Once we get Kubishev, it'll link up, but doing this stuff here at, with roads and railways, probably good to do as well. Actually, we're at war. Quit India, nice. Aristocratic, aristocratic movements. If you want to buy this one too, please go right ahead. Restore Imperial Protection. Well, probably not. Oh, look at that, great. We gave him concessions, we're good. We'll do the declaration after this one as well. Nationalist Uprising of the Republic of Karelia. If you want to read this one, please go ahead. Our enemies, enemies are friend. Nah, we're good. As long as they don't appear behind our territory. Nice. Oh, look at this. They wanted to encircle us. This reminds me of Irkutsk. Because it's right next to Irkutsk. Oh, boy. Enemy decisions? Great. Oh, is this an encirclement? Oh, it could be. Could be Chef. Oh, please. You go there, you can get some you can get some much needed supplies, man. Even if you get encircled, it's fine. Seriously, it's literally fine. If you die, I don't care. The tanks are dying like crazy, but whatever. I I, I don't care. Our tanks are all gonna die anyways in the end, probably, so whatever. 
Karelia. Unrest, we will win this. How close here is he to capitulation? 40%, not bad. We have suffered about 180,000 casualties. That's uh, quite a few, not gonna lie. Hey, we got, got it captured, nice. Uh, total mobilization, actually, we have to go to total mobilization too next. Declaration, might as well, because we can. Oh, army stuff? Azerbaijan, nah, goodbye. We could do that one, but at this point, that's just so weak for mass assault. I love the Slavonic consumption that you get reduced upon when you go down this path, but is it worth it? Honestly, not really worth it. I pretty much exclusively go down Grand Battle Plan, and I think I still want to go down that way just because it makes it stronger. It's just so strong. But that's the pocket subject. Now, we want to get some logistic companies eventually, too. And I know I'm speaking very fast. I know, I know, I know. But still. Oh, hello. Why not? Unrest, we will win this. Army stockpile? Good, good, good. Anti tank, yes, please. Anything else here? We don't want to win too fast. We do definitely want to get total mobilization. We need that manpower or the industry bo bo bonuses to it. Nice. Good job, guys. Only 0 0.91 every single day. Internal rivalry, that kind of sucks. Declaration. After that one, return of the Condor. Oh, uh, we can honestly wait to do that one. So I want to start focusing a little bit more on some of these other ones to do, such as infrastructure efforts, heavy industry. Let's go with heavy industry. So we're going to go about heavy industry next. Please go right ahead. Just because going down this way, look at Ivan Cheryakovsky. We'll win this. Just so we can start getting some more civvies too, so that'll be good. Karak Paul Kistan. Oh no. Uh, are you kidding me, bro? Alright, so that's the case here. You can do this too. I know the tanks aren't feeling too good right here. Come right here. There you go. I was move fast enough through it too. That's not really bad. Oh, sick to card. Nice. Very good. Greece and Turkey. All right. Heavy Industries next. Branch join the UK. Greece join the Allies. So, Allies, Allies, Allies. Poland's still in a civil war. United Kingdom is going more communist. Well, all right. What is this? Sabotage behind enemy lines. Eh, I mean, that's not bad. We don't have to do it, though. That's so stupid that we can do with this. Can they pierce us? Yeah, they can. That sucks. That sucks, bro. But they should capitulate soon. I'm, I, I, we can capitulate now. I, I don't want to wait any longer to get rid of them, so. Um, anything else here? Tanks would be nice. Probably go with heavies, though. Logistics. Definitely go logistics. My god, do we need them. Getting closer to Moscow, though. And now they are. Enemy desertions? Nice. Nice, very nice. Uh, would you like to come to Gorky? Ivan, though? There you go. National Surprising? Nope. Now, this is the tank general, the tank commander we want. That'd be a little better. Even though I would have preferred Zukov, but whatever. There they are down here too. Baku, heavy industry. Up next, we're going to have infrastructure effort as well. And actually, since we're a strength and mobilization plan, uh, it's not considered a major, so actually maybe not. Oh, there we go. See, we got him. Not bad. Really not that bad at all. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to race all the way over here, so if you can, kill off Karelia. That'd be pretty nice. You guys come down to here and do this to... Actually, just send them all. Who cares at this point? Doesn't matter. Victory! The communist regime has fallen. Our victorious troops uh, control the capital. The people are free from the red tyranny at last. A new Russia shall rise from the devastation caused by two civil wars and years of misrule in between. Nice. This is very painful doing it like this, but whatever. Nukus? Why not? After that one, then we'll come down here and do consolidate power. The war that has torn our nation and has now been won. We must strengthen our position and methodically eliminate those who dare to oppose us. Weekly stability, lose daily common support. Very nice. Let's keep Chia the capital. Moscow is the most important city. Vladivostok will be our new eastern capital. And St. Petersburg was the capital of the empire. Which is not bad, but I think we have St. Petersburg before. Um, I like Vladivostok, even though it's really easy to lose it. And supply-wise, 
that's pretty god awful. Hmm. I mean, if we're in Cheetah, it's really hard to do communications there, but Vladivostok would be great, but I want to do Cheetah. Let's keep a Cheetah, just because that's something I would probably never really want to choose, because it's just so remote and unforgivably remote. That's, that's really the only reason why. It'll be really hard for enemies to capitulate us, so, you know, they're not going to capitulate us, but still. Still. Oh, yeah, go on in. Just go, seriously, just go on in. Kill them with extreme aggression and whatnot. Like, I want them dead. I want every single last one of these mother effers dead. They don't deserve life. Where we're headed, we're going to be putting them into camps. Camps where they have a lot of concentration. The Bolsheviks tried to change their state religion to communism and created a personal cult around its leaders. They went even so far as to rename the city of Russia. Order must be restored around the empire. And nowhere is more fitting than to start with the old city of Tsertsin and rename Stalingrad. Volgograd was a really fitting name. It was Tsertsin, it should be Tsertsin. I think this one last time. And we're not going Tsar. We're not, we don't care about the Tsars this time, so we're going to go with this one. Volgograd. Yeah. Ekaterinburg, yeah. Lucas, please. Yes. Supplies really bad. Hey, thank you for playing. Not really. We hate you so much. But it's fine. Whatever. Can't wait for happy special fun camp time. Baku, please. You are, and you will always be, under us. So you went communist for no reason. Oh, they're fighting. Karelia, too. Workers Republic. But they invest in the Axis. Interesting. Quite peculiar, I would say. You guys did okay. Not great. <laughs> Definitely not great, but they did okay. Azerbaijan, thank God for the fuel. Um, you, you, and you two. Or I guess really you three. There you go. Whee! Something like that. Let's put you on the board with the, the peasants over here. It's fine. And where did I put them earlier? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Let the horses do the work. Cut them off that way. It's fine. Ooh, actual division's nice. You guys are 18 combat width, which are not bad. Yeah. Make sure these guys are at least 20 combat width at the very least. It's fine. Um... Are you guys motorized? Oh, you sort of are, actually, but I don't want them motorized. Anyone else here? Oh, horse just converted them over. I don't care either. Tank division. After consolidating power, bringing the back way, breakaways back into the fold versus offer autonomy to the former Soviet republics. We could do that one, or in this one too, but that's where you could be in the Subsky Civil War immediately. More political power, more stability, and we can join and set our own factions. No. It's almost 1939. Gets more output as well. That'd be good. Where is this one? Ah, oh, god dang it, Karelia. Great news. Alright, so where is this one division here? Ah. Oh, sure, you're not to come with us. Oh, whatever. There you go. You guys all train when you're ready. You're in the desert, huh? Oh, you're moving anyway, so that's fine. You guys did pretty good. I like the cavalry. I like I like them a lot, so. Mm. Here, come here. There you go, too. Not bad. You guys did okay. Consolidate. Not bad. And now we're building ourselves up even more. Hopefully we can do okay, because it's already 1939. At least we're in total mobilization. We're decreasing the amount of map. We're going to get enough. No. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's not good. Um, we probably need to demobilize our economy. Yeah. We need that manpower at the very least, so let's go there. It takes 50 political power, but at least we get manpower back. And we're still okay-ish on the amount of factories we're making, so that's not too bad. Even though, my goodness, do we need some factories? What? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't want to even see this stuff. Um, these are the tank divisions we have. They're not terrible. But at least, very least for these guys. They need those guys. They need some recon, maybe. Good stuff like that. Not bad. And let's invest in... No? No one. Okay. We barely get any political power. Or barely arm, any army XP. Oh, that's just so bad. Oh, but you get basically infinite manpower. That's not bad. Required garrisons, garrison penetration chance. 
Ataman of the Transbaikal Host. Well, that's interesting, too. Reconvene the Zemsky Sabor. The Foreign Connection. Driver of the Faithful. Orthodox Rabble Rouser. That's not bad. Theocratic Diplomat. I like that. Patriarch of all of Russia and of Moscow and all of Russia. Yeah, that's not bad either. Hmm. Picture this are. The injustice, injustice visited upon our nation decades ago has now at last been undone. And a bit fittingly granted a pompous ceremony within the mission capital or cathedral. Grand Duke Vladimir Kirillovich was crowned Tsar Vladimir I to the unbridled elation of the crowds. From here, the Tsar made it his first act to lead a procession out from the gates of the Kremlin, greeting the jubilant masses and attending the impressive military march in his honor personally. In a magnificent speech, the new Tsar extolled the virtues of the Russian people and vowed to once again lead the nation on a path to retaining its former glory. Glorious. And we're going to finish off with Dismantle the Zemsky Sabor. The Zemsky Sabor has served its purpose. Uh, too much democracy can be a dangerous thing, as was shown in 1917. We should not repeat the mistakes of the past. Half of current non fascist support is applied as a stability penalty. Retire Vladimir III from Russia. Add Vladimir, Tsar Vladimir I, which gained 5% more stability. VFP, more fascism. Konstantin Rodzievsky, Rodzievsky, Rodzievsky becomes leader of the fascist party. Fascist orchestrator, master impact goes down by minus 0.3. Ooh. Adds national brotherhood. Then these divisions required the Zemsky support dismantled. Or we rebuild the nation first. Uh, that's not bad. So we should probably get more fascist support first so to get less of a stability hit first. Which would not be bad. So it might be better to do a return of the Roll Corps first. The Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia is comprised of those exiles who rather than abandon their beliefs and principles, elected ex exile after the Russian Civil War, now with the defeat of the communist government, who forced their expat expatriation. The time has finally come to welcome them back home and reinstate them. Let's do that one first. Uh, we get some more daily fascist support anyways, so that's kind of okay with us. And things are happening all over the place here. Italy joined... Oh. That's quite a strong allies group, though. Now there's no access here, though. Huh. Check on top. Might actually do okay-ish. Maybe? We don't mind improving working conditions if possible as well. But our army could be a lot worse. So after that one... Oh, Logistics 1's happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Keep building some cities and millies as well, because we only have 121 factories. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's not good. Um, let's get some more... As much as I want more weekly manpower, getting more fast support right now would be super important. So, driver of these groups, foreign connection. That's a, is that the only guy who gives us more fascist support? I like this to get more political power, but that's not worth it for losing stability. Cavalry unit design cost goes down. Attacking division speed is interesting. Attacking against major countries, that's very interesting as well. Uh, so, yeah, we got to go with this guy. Anas Anastasi von Syatsky. Syatsky. Yeah, that's the guy we got to get next, so. And rebuild the nation. Our war-ravaged country must now be rebuilt. Uh, with propaganda campaigns, we can ensure every man, woman, and child makes their contribution to their building effort. Better consumer goods, factory repair speeds, not bad too. And restore the glory of the motherland. Plus, after some more construction speeds, pretty good too. Under new leadership, we will ensure Russia becomes more glorious than ever before. We'll commence a great program of construction of every kind and make our nation the envy of the Western world. Who also since you're here? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Toad Anti-Tank. Railway Guns, Anti-Tank. Max that sucker out eventually. Uh, what do we have here? Three slabs, it's fine. Train. Train. Keep training, because we got all that fuel now. Good. That army's going to be okay. It's not going to be great. Uh, more fascist support, yeah. Anastasi Von Sayatsky. Nice. Because right now, we're only at... 34%, which is really bad. Not a line is too high right now. And then... Democracy. No one wants democracy here. And then we'll probably conclude with that one as well. Yeah, still minus 32%. Polish... Why is everyone joining the Allies? Okay, that's not cool. We need... We need the central powers to be, like, very strong so they at least can contest the Allies. I mean, we're going to fight the Allies, too, but... That's a bit too strong, in my opinion. America, did you go with offline? Oh my god, you got the wheelchair man here still. Um, are you guys going to go communist still? They have strikes, which is appropriate. Um, uh, trade union factory demands, British austerity, George VI, wartime industry, the war to end all wars, 
British Stoicism, no stability. You, you guys have three percent. You should have a civil war for doing this stuff. Inefficient economy. Because you, you guys are an offensive war, aren't you? I could be wrong about that. Hmm. Polish Peasant Union. Uh, they could have gone communist, but they're probably going to go democratic, which sucks. Germany, please don't tell me. They all went democratic. Are you kidding me? Redoubt against Ru What the heck? So they went with Zentrum. So they're going to strike at the source. But they can't strike at me because I'm not communist. I don't know, we'll find some way to make sure the world ends up burning alive. So, establishment of Oh my god. Seriously. Every campaign now. What is this? What is this? Is this like, was it Red Flood or something? Or is it, no, this is like Führerreich. Führerreich Turkey. This is, what the heck? Oh my goodness. You feel slightly bad for the Turks. Not too bad for the Turks, but slightly bad. Uh, Anti-democratic raids. Anti-communist raids would be good, but... Mm, I think we just take the hit to stability. And do this one. Still, 32%. That's so much. But I don't want to lose... Um, the Romanov spirit. Do we get rid of that? Retire Vladimir III. Add start of the first, which grants some stability. Yeah, I'll do this one next immediately. It's fine. It's fine. Keep building, keep building, keep building. Um, it's just not enough. Keep building infrastructure too, because it helps us build stuff as well. It's fine. Are you guys okay? You guys are fine, sort of ish. That's better. And we have three tank divisions left. God dang it, that's not enough. Oh my goodness. Actually, some of these guys can become uh, off the cores, right? Yes, this one first. Because I want to see Rajevsky before we're done here, so. And there goes those groups. My god, allies. You deserve nothing but pain and death for making it like this. This is ugly, please. Uh, this is ugly. This is really ugly. At least we got this guy. Oh, not bad, not great, but not bad. Who's this? <sighs> French puppet, French puppet. What? Independent. Huh. And why is the Ukraine there? Oh my gosh. Oh, Italy left the Allies. Wait, they left. Huh. Germany. Oh, that's... But... Secret Armament, huh? Yeah, that's that is... Spain still killing itself. Oh, actually... Hmm. We can't send volunteers, though. We're not a lot of send volunteers. God dang it. Are you kidding me, bro? Why do you hate us so much? Victory through air power. Air doctrine. Uh, battlefield support. Which one are we doing? Oh, we'll go up here for this one. Battlefield support. Let's do operational integrity, probably. Yeah. Operational integrity, but we don't have someone for that, do we? Operational integrity. Nope. 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 Construction three. Better artillery. Engineers, maybe. Better anti-air or radar. Go down to the Brotherhood of Asia. Um, okay. Could use a spot of rubber, so let's grab two of that. Uh, good, good luck, China. Brotherhood of Asia, good luck as well to you, too. I'm sure we could use it. Oh, and we've got political power here. Somebody would be nice. Yeah, so let's see who it is here. Minus 30%, it, it's quite a bit, it's quite a bit. Improve working conditions anyways, because we're gonna take such a hit to stability anyway, so. And we'll end the episode with, reading another focus too. Oh, here we go. Hello, Konstantin Rojevsky. Welcome back. The two Tsars. Do we keep that? Ooh, if we keep that, that's actually really strong. Weekly manpower goes up even further. But then, Russian corporate state. Ooh. Pass by the rim. Vengeance for the yoke. Religious primacy. We get more political power and less consumer goods. The importance of religion in our society cannot be understated. It is the time the state accepts and supports its primacy and to make the first steps towards the unification of church and state. Which, we change our flag, which is not bad. But we can still do Western Bound, which is also very nice. Secure the Baltics, Finland, and all these groups. Very, very good. 
And I think for this campaign, I think we'll probably go with National Specialist. I've only done this once, but if we're going Fascist, I think it makes more sense for National Specialist. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know, what do you think would be a good fitting name for these guys? Would it be Locrana? It'd probably be Locrana. NKVD is a bit too communist for my liking. But hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.